always been the place for coats and everything else to keep you warm. It's time to save a ton of money on your favorite brands. It's time to go to Burlington. You'll love the deals. You'll love Burlington. Wow. Howard's Hot Buys are on. This weekend only, discover the difference. We pay your sales tax this weekend. Plus, save $300 on this GE range, only $649. And save $500 on this Crosley French door refrigerator, only $8.99. And save up to 75% off all clearance and open box TVs. Plus, free next day delivery. Hurry into Howard's today. There's your biggie bag. All that food for five bucks, right. that's my go-to. Ooh, that's my ride or die. <laughs> Just like you and me. Bag boys. Bag boys, what you gonna do? Don't. What you gonna do Don't. when we bring your do food? It. You can always bet on biggie and now earn free food when ordering on the Wendy's app. I dressed my best because I knew tonight was going to be exciting. Some blackjack at Crystal Hearts Bar. Now that's what I call good times. Well... I'm a Wahlburgers sideline sports bar kind of guy. Snagging a brew with my crew. That's what I like to do. Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Good times for everybody. Now on Eyewitness News at 9 a.m., tributes continue to pour in following the sudden death of friend star Matthew Perry. The new details we have learned overnight and a disturbing case of child abuse in Lancaster. Two children are dead, two others are injured. What deputies say they discovered? The first significant Santa Ana wind event of the season is hitting Southern California. Tony has more on the red flag warning now in place. Wow. I'm Christian Cordero in for Irene Cruz. We have Tony with us. Tony, we've been talking about the wind all morning long. Those cameras just have been shaking. It almost looks like an earthquake behind you. I know. It's very, very shaky, and we haven't seen this in a while. This, like you said, is the first significant one of the season and hopefully doesn't cause too many problems for people. Uh, we are seeing some gusts that are pretty strong, especially in the San Gabriel Mountain areas and San Bernardino Mountains like we're seeing here from our Running Springs camera. Riverside is 63 degrees. It's fairly calm, maybe breezy down towards Riverside, but up in our mountains, you can see there are some gusty winds. And when we look at our winds map from Santa Clarita, wow, 51 mile per hour winds right now, all the way down towards Thousand Oaks, 36, 36 in Malibu. And there's that offshore flow, the Santa Ana pattern, winds coming from the Northeast. And those wind prone areas like the Cajon Pass as well, are gonna be seeing it. 36 in San Bernardino, 44 in Riverside. And then of course our Santa Ana mountains too, where Anaheim is seeing 39 mile per hour winds, but the purple, the magenta, that's the strongest winds from 40 to 60 miles per hour with gusts that could be stronger. Red flag warning in much of LA County mountains and some of the western valleys there, as well as Ventura County, especially the eastern portion of it in the valleys there. And then everybody else pretty much has a high wind warning in effect until tomorrow night. So this is going to be probably a two day event with today being the worst. By the afternoon and hours, it should start to die down and then pick up again overnight. Temperatures also coming up compared to yesterday and then we have a warm warming trend going into Wednesday. We'll show you that with our seven day forecast coming up in just a couple of minutes. Mark Christian back to you. Tony, thank you. Orange County also expected to get hammered by powerful gusts. The OC Fire Authority says the quick reaction force, which is funded by SoCal Edison, will be on standby today in case any fires break out. Here's a look at video from previous fires. Three helitankers will be prepared to launch if needed. All of this in addition to the Fire Authority's ground and air resources. Of course, make sure to have the free ABC7 Los Angeles app to get the latest weather information. You can also use it to watch eyewitness news streaming on your phone tablet or smartphone we have breaking news out of lancaster a disturbing discovery two children are dead and two others were injured after deputies responded to a child abuse call la county sheriff's deputies responded to a home on east avenue j2 just before midnight deputies found four children under the age of 10 suffering from lacerations to their bodies. The children were taken to a local hospital. Two of them died. The other two are being treated. Deputies say that they have detained a man. In the meantime, we continue with our other top story this morning, the sudden and shocking death of a beloved sitcom star. Actor Matthew Perry has died at the age of 54. Overnight, new video of his parents arriving to his Pacific Palace.